Find out what's going on. Get involved. Change things from the inside. Make a difference. Take pride. Multicultural at its best. The Louisa Marshall Show. Coming up. All new Simply the Best. On the show, the talented and gorgeous Mark Massery. Mark is a multi-award winning Canadian tenor sensation who shared the stage with Jim Brickman, David Foster, Seal, Shaka Khan, Donna Summers to name a few. It must have been love. Based in Toronto, Mark has traveled the world and inspired thousands of people with his remarkable voice and his rendition of The Prayer. Today, Mark is continuing to inspire as a host of Canada's longest-running daily television show, 100 Huntley Street. And he's back on the show to lift our spirits during this COVID Christmas holidays. Like in the, this big, uh, the, oh, Zoomers! That's right, it was Zoomers! And have a merry, merry Christmas. All these, coming up. It's the most wonderful time of the year, and we have a fantastic show. Ten years ago, we met the amazing singer, songwriter, producer, Mark Masri, and now we are thrilled to have him back on the show. Mark, happy Zoom day to you. <laughs> Thanks, Louisa. It's good to be here. <laughs> How do you like Vancouver? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. I love this city. It's my first, uh, it's my first time actually spending any amount of time here. I you did such a beautiful show today and yesterday. Thank you. The Boston Globe describes him as melting the hearts of female audience members like warm chocolate. Hitmaker David Foster invited him on his television special to hit. Guys, you know what? Mark is from Toronto. Don't throw anything. Don't throw anything. <laughs> Snowball. <Whoops>. <laughs> <laughs> Hope to see you again. Thank you, for sure. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. My pleasure. Yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Hello, Mark! Woo! Hi, Louisa! How are you? How am I? How are you? I miss you. I miss you. I'm... Vancouver miss you. Oh, well, listen, wow. Toronto misses you. We're good. We're like, we're in lockdown here in Southern Ontario. Um, just wait. Just a sec. Just a sec. You're in lockdown? We, we are. Like, there are certain regional certain municipalities that are in lockdown. I live just outside of Toronto proper, so we are one stage away from lockdown, but the rumor has it that as soon as Christmas comes, they're gonna lock us down too, just because numbers are getting out of control in Toronto. So it's been, I mean, listen, everybody knows it has been an interesting year to say the least. Yes, it's been crazy. But Mark, how are you? How are you? I, I just wanna know how you are right now. How are you? I I'm good. I'm good. I'm looking forward to Christmas. I'm looking forward to taking some time off with my family. Um, you know, there's a lot going on. I mean, not a whole lot going on musically, unfortunately, unfortunately, because, you know, you know, the live performance thing has slowed down considerably. But I'm hosting a show these days uh, called 100 Huntley Street. It's a faith based show on Yes TV across the country. And that keeps me very busy. Um, we're in production two to three days a week and you know interviewing some pretty exciting guests and authors and speakers and artists and just hearing their faith story it's very very exciting for me and so it's really good it's good to be back i'm kind of serving in a, in a slightly different capacity but you know whether you're on the stage singing or conducting an interview louisa you know it's it's very similar and yet different <laughs> you've always had a big heart and I know that. And the last time we've seen each other was three years ago here I in know. Vancouver, when you came over and did that wonderful benefit show for a church. That's right. And that was so awesome. Oh. It was so good to see you there. Everybody uh, fell in love with you and your <laughs> voice. Oh, oh well, my oh, goodness, that's... it was just amazing. 
amazing. It was well, thank an amazing you. show. And the nice thing about it, it was so, you know, it was cozy. It was so intimate. And oh, yeah. the acoustic of the church was so wonderful. That was a beautiful evening, um, a beautiful summer evening. Um, yeah, as a benefit for the church. It was so great to be there. It was so great to see you and your family. I mean, you took up a whole row in that small chapel. I loved it. And as soon as I looked out there and I seen your smiling face, I was like, okay, everything's gonna be okay. Louise is here. It doesn't matter if I go off the rails completely. I'm just gonna get Louise up here and her and I will redeem it somehow. It was so good to be there. And it was, as you mentioned, it was very intimate. It was very unplugged, so to speak. I had a guest, um, that night, you remember Tiffany yes. Derosier. Yes. She's an amazing, she's amazing, Vancouver talent, and uh, it was just great to be there. I love doing those intimate type shows because you really get to make eye contact with almost everyone in the audience over the course of a concert. So it makes it a little more personal as opposed to staring out at a black, cavernous room. Because you know, when the lights are on in the big halls, you don't know if there's one person out there or two thousand. <laughs> oh no, they always go to see you, Mark. And I also watch uh, your your special on uh, is it on PBS? The PBS. Am special. I right? Yes. Yeah, the PBS special, and I was so proud, so 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 proud of you. Oh, and of you. course, not to forget. Oh, thank you so much for sending me this <laughs> right after our interview. Hey, uh, people can find you on Spotify, right? That's right. The, the, so, what what's the title of 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 uh, of the Christmas the, album. The Christmas album. The Christmas album is called A Christmas Time With You. And it's uh, the title cut of the album was a song written by Stefan Macchio and David Quillico. Stefan Macchio, you know, everyone from The Weeknd to Celine Dion to Miley Cyrus to, I mean, the list goes on and on. Just an all star composer, a very good friend of mine. In fact, he and I have collaborated on other songs in the past. And, um, but yeah, he wrote this song called A Christmas Time With You. It's, it's that beautiful. You know, it's that, it's, if there were a music video shot to this song, Louisa, it would be me sitting down writing a letter to my long lost love that I don't think I'm going to be able to be with at Christmas time. And it's just that, that, that's, that sentiment of longing to be with that person that you love so much again at the holiday season. And um, so it's, it's, it's a little bit of a lonely Christmas song, but it's, there's a, still a hopefulness about it because, you know, we, we, we have to sing about love and romance and especially around the holidays. It's so meaningful to so many people. Don't make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you, we, we, you and I had such a great time on our first, uh, you know, meeting. Our first date? Together. Yeah, our first date. Can you imagine? <laughs> We're in like in the, this big, uh, oh, Zoomers. That's right, it was Zoomers. 10 years ago. Can you believe it, Louisa? 10 years ago. Yeah. That was the first time we met. And you know what? The, the, uh, the worst thing during, I was feeling so guilty. I'll be honest with you. I was feeling so guilty because, because I was getting ready for my show. You had a show that time, you know, yeah. and, and I had a show that time. So I, I was getting ready. And then after that, you know, we had a little table where you want to do networking and inviting people to hire you. <laughs> like, hire me, me, me. So sell, we, sell, I, sell. I know. So I was there with my band and we did, you know, a little bit of what, you know, what we normally do, the, the Tina Tur tribute show. Yep. And then while I was uh, changing, I heard this voice. I said, hmm. What was that? You know who told me about you? Who's He's that? got a big crush on you. My husband. Oh. <laughs> Steve. Steve's got a man crush on me? Well, that's that's flattering. No, he said that he said to me, you gotta see this guy. You gotta you gotta see this guy. Just listen to him. And I was like, I'm too busy. You know, I can hear him. I gotta primp and get myself in. Yeah, yeah, you know, because you know. No, you gotta hear him. He's just He's amazing and he's so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you didn't need to feel guilty for a minute because when you're in game game mode, I understand. Like you've, you've got to get yourself ready. And I remember after I was done my set, you got up. And I'd been hearing about this Tina Turner tribute band and about probably, you know, the the best probably in that genre, in that category of bands. And I was like, well, you know, I've seen a couple cover bands in my day. And then you get up. And it's, I mean, I almost feel like I'm discrediting you when I say you're like the best Tina Turner that I've ever seen. 
because you are so much of an artist in and of yourself. I would love to just, I mean, I would sit and and listen to the Louisa show, like without it being Tina Turner, like because you are just such a consummate professional and you are engaging and you're captivating and your energy is contagious. And I remember me and my band stood there and we were like, we had to pick our draw, jaws up off the floor because it was just such an amazing- Oh my God. Oh, you're so kind, Mark. You're so kind. Thank you. It's true. Thank it's true. But, I don't even have to make anything up. But Mark, I, <laughs> thank you. But you know what? I was really glad that we met each other during that time after the show. But thank now, you. you know, I've seen some of your clips on your uh, TV show. It's a daily show. Um, a, we air at wow. 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. in most time zones across the country on Yes TV. But I'm on three to four times a week, every week. So yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a full you know full um, workload. But I love it. It's fulfilling, you know, telling stories of of, uh, of people's lives that have changed and and people that have just got some such, such beautiful you know narratives that they want to share. And it's 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 it really it fuels me. It feeds my soul getting to interview some of these amazing people. And so I count myself very, very lucky, very blessed to be able to do that. I love it. It's, it's, um, I, I don't know if I would have seen myself moving into this role. Um, You're great. You, thank you. you. I've learned from the best. <laughs> Mark, what is the most important lesson you learned during this COVID time, during this pandemic? The importance of, oh, well, that's a good question. First of all, I think there's a lot of lessons all of us have learned at various stages throughout COVID. As a human race, th this pandemic has leveled the playing field and we are all, we are all just human. There's uh, a fragility that comes to, to being human. There's a, a value of life that we need to really take hold of every single day and celebrate and relationships that are that, that are meaningful to us, we need to celebrate those relationships and not take them for granted. I mean, we're hearing so many stories of people losing loved ones uh, during this, this pandemic to this horrible disease. I think, I think that's been the biggest takeaway for me is that we just really need to just, and, and it's also caused us to slow down, Louise, and I know you know that. I mean, in many respects, the show must go on. You've continued to make television with or without a pandemic. And there's responsibilities that come with that and there's a busyness to doing work differently but in many respects it's caused us to slow down it's simplified things a bit for us we're spending more time at home with our families and just really taking that time to be very intentional about those moments i think has been the biggest lesson learned for me because i always wanted to go i always want to just you know move on to the next thing and I'm always looking at the next opportunity and what the next mountain is that I have to climb and this has just caused me to just hit pause it's caused all of us to hit pause and just take a breath and say hold on a second I don't know what tomorrow holds I don't even have the guarantee of tomorrow but I do have today and I have this moment and I have these people that I love dearly my family and I need to make this moment this moment right now count the most we'll be back with Mark don't go away So during the lockdown, uh, which was a long lockdown, I think in yes. Toronto, I think your lockdown is longer than here in Vancouver. Uh, we, so. we, we, uh, yet yeah, just yesterday, uh, the government in BC just announced that the, all the restrictions the, oh, extended until January. Mm. So um, we, we can't even like no gatherings, no social gatherings, no Christmas uh, gatherings. Uh, that's it. No, they no. can't even, you know, what they're allowing is just for people to drive by. Yeah. It's like, wow. It's, I know. Of all the it, times it, it of year, like, right? Oh, what's going on? Like, and, and especially me, I have a big family, you know, my big fam <laughs> Filipino family. <laughs> oh my gosh, how can they do this to us? I know. But you know, we got to do what, well, it is what it is. And, and yeah. 
and I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it, it's worse in Toronto. <laughs> you, you guys are crazy over there. <laughs> yeah, there, there, we've certainly seen um, an uptick in numbers, especially in Toronto proper, proper, and a, and a, and a region just to the northwest of Toronto called Peel Region. The numbers have been through the roof. Why is that? Um, well, I think it's. Just, I think there's been a little bit of um, a lot of irresponsibility. Some people just just having complete and total disregard for um, uh, health officials and, and, and their uh, advisements to us. And they just continue to meet and they continue to have weddings and they continue to have parties and, you know, gatherings of people's homes in excess of the, of the, of the restriction man, restrictions mandated. And it's as a result, the numbers are climbing and we're starting to see the strain in the hospital system, which is the big, I know, I mean, that's what it all boils down to in this is in this country and around the world, it's our government officials are afraid of the hospitals being overrun and go beyond capacity. That's the big problem. And I think everyone says, well, you know, I had it. I was asymptomatic. It's no big deal. Well, it is a big deal for some people. And I think we need to remember that. So trying to do our best, it's not easy. You know, you've got a big family. I have a big family too. Um, and are they all there of, in Toronto? All of my, my immediate siblings, yes, are, are here They're in Toronto. Older. My family, my wife and son, there's just three of us. And so we will be spending Christmas, just the three of us, um, and maybe zooming in to some other family members um, in different parts of the city, just because it's, it's the right thing to do at this time, as difficult as that is. And of all the times in the year, I know when this thing hit us in March, we were thinking, ah, oh, by the end of summer, this thing will be over with and we'll be back to normal. Well, we've got a little bit longer to go, folks. You know, those vaccines are on their way. So let's just hang tight and, and keep the, uh, the end goal in mind. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. From now on, our troubles will be miles away. golden days of your faithful friends who are dear to us gather near to us once more we love your songs mark so thank you any any, any new project i know this is covid time and you are so um uh indulge with your tv show in in toronto yeah and then you release this in the future i i'm working well I, i should say in my mind i'm working on an album that will <laughs> that will probably be that's going to be a a, a, a faith-based album songs of inspiration and hope I've started writing some songs for that. So I, I think that's going to be my project in 2021. I haven't really mapped out when, you know, that's music a good is one plan. of those things. It's, yeah, I just feel like I have another album in me. I think it's, it's about time that I, I, I go back into the workshop, if you will. And um, there's some, some, some of my colleagues like to call it the lab. Um, go back into the lab and start uh, mixing some stuff up again. I think 2021, will, there, will, there will be a new album. Well, my Christmas message to everyone this year is to take time for those that you love and to remember that the reason for the season is that little baby that came in the manger and his name is Jesus and he came with a message of love and I think we all need to learn to love each other a little bit better. So do that this Christmas season and I'm pretty sure that life will go better for all of us. Merry Christmas.
let this be our prayer when we lose our way. che tu dai nel cuore resterà a ricordarci che l'eterna stella se nella mia preghiera Quanta fede c'è Lead us to a place Guide us with your grace Give us faith so we'll be saved Sogniamo un mondo senza più violenza Thank you so much for being on the show and for joining me again. I hope you and your family, your son, your wife, and yourself, you know, I know you're going to be uh, doing a lockdown Christmas uh, celebration. And so are we here in our, you know, in our own home. And I hope to, to wishing you all the merry, merry, healthiest Christmas ever. Thank you, Louisa. It is such a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. You, you, you know, you are so inspiring. And every time I get a chance to connect with you, I leave with my heart full. So thank you so much. And from the bottom of my heart, from my family to yours, a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous, healthy and safe 2021. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy the show. We wish everybody a merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year. 
please follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Please don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. Always be kind. Let's stop bullies and the coronavirus. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Stay safe. Um, see you next week. Bye-bye.